Sonia Lennon, many people would know you from Off The Rails and RTE and the other work that you do around fashion. So when it comes to a woman's pride in her, in her appearance for a job interview, you've obviously thought, okay, this is important enough for me to go and do something about it. Yeah, I mean, I think what happened was, um, through what I do in Off The Rails, you meet women, yep. you realise how you can change people's self-esteem and that's what it all boils down to and your self-esteem is what allows you to make the right decisions in life to protect yourself and to further your own career and your own um, life really mm -hmm. um, so I suppose when I could see those changes happening one-on-one -on -one, um, the minute I heard about Dress for Success I just realized oh my god here's an opportunity to do it on a bigger scale um, for people who genuinely need it um, disadvantaged women who've you know a lot of them have been through you know very very tough lives and have gathered together enough self-belief to say I'm going to train myself up I'm going to change my economic circumstances I'm going to change the future for my family and mm. um, by by getting either back into employment or into employment to get financial independence and this just speaks to me in such loud terms um, that you are in control of your own choices, your own life and that you can help your children to make the right choices as well. Um, having seen like the changeover on Off The Rails, not everybody gets the opportunity. No, that. no, and that's what Dress for Success is all about. Dress for Success is, is a very broad opportunity um, aimed at women who are in training and education with a view to getting back into the workplace or getting into the workplace. So, um, and we've seen it happen. Um, women come in and I think if, if you are living on such bare means that you're finding it difficult to put the food on the table, mm -hmm. it's then pretty much impossible to start thinking about clothing yourself for interview. Plus, maybe your self-belief isn't at the level that you can make the right choices even if you had the money. So you're kind of tackling it on two levels. So what we do is we take donated clothing from women in business mm -hmm. who no longer need the items for whatever reason and give them to women who, who do need them for interview to look and feel as good as they can. Um, to help them to put the best foot forward and give them an edge at interview that they mightn't um, necessarily have. So you've gone from being a broadcaster and, and a mother of two small children to being a social entrepreneur. Have you, has it been quite the adventure for you? Yes. I mean, I, I certainly didn't wake up in the morning and say, oh, I think I'll be a social entrepreneur today. That mm. wasn't it. Yeah. Um, I think, speaking personally, what happened to me was that something presented itself that I couldn't ignore. Nice. Um, and I had no choice but to do what I could to make it happen. Um, the, the application for Dress for Success took two years. Wow. It's incredibly um, rigorous. I was lucky in that they'd already targeted the location. They right. knew they wanted to be here okay. as an international organisation. So that took the feasibility out of the loop, but yeah. I still had to prove that I was the right person to be granted the la license. Um, a really good analogy for the passion that runs through the organisation is that I was in New York at the annual conference in June and the attendance rate from 114 affiliate offices was 93%. Wow. And they told me that the reason that the attendance rate was so low was because of the ash cloud over New Zealand. So the five New Zealand branches couldn't make it. Wow. So that's, that's what's driving the organisation internationally. Um, and, and not only a belief in what we're doing, but also a, a support by metrics. Six, over 600,000 women have been dressed by Dress for Success worldwide. Wow. Last year alone, $7 million worth of clothing was donated worldwide. It's huge and it's growing. Um, and what I've seen happen um, looking at the history of the development of the organisation is that when an office opens in a territory the message is so strong um, and the work is so effective that it isn't long before somebody else applies for a licence. So five years down the line I would like to see Dress of Success Dublin, Belfast, Limerick, Waterford, Cork, Galway um, and I think that then gives us an opportunity to to, to harness the power of all those organisations to be a real force to be reckoned with. 
there are people at home who might want to help. Obviously, after tomorrow, they'll be able to look at your fabulous new website. Can't wait. But, can't <laughs> wait. but who do you have working with you in Dublin at the moment? And then are, are you still looking for people who want to volunteer their time and get involved? Uh, it's one of the things that has really astounded me in the birth of this right. uh, in Dublin. I For two years, I was one woman on a laptop, um, kind of following this path. Yeah. Um, I'm not one woman on a laptop anymore. Mm -hmm. um, the most extraordinary bunch of people have been attracted to this, including yourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and just the enthusiasm and... I mean, the list is so long that I don't even know where to be, to begin. Um, on a sort of a, a you know a macro level, Arnott's have come on board as super partner. So Brilliant. our premises has come through their property portfolio. They've given, I'm thinking about twenty to twenty five thousand euro worth of benefit in kind to us, including their visual merchandising team, uh, refitting our offices. Our, our space is absolutely beautiful. We have an office on one floor, we have a boutique on the other. It's a very, very sophisticated space. Crown Paint have donated the, the paint. Um, Briscoe's have donated computers. LK Shields have donated uh, legal representation to us to the tune of probably about six or seven thousand euros so far. Um, Ernst & Young have come on board as our first official co corporate partner. Uh, we did our first suit drive with them. Uh, they gave us donations, they gave us uh, clothing, they gave us volunteers. So we've set up quite, um, quite a clever model in terms of approaching corporate sponsors um, to get the three things that we need. We can provide the clients. The other, right. thing we need, the other things we need are money, volunteers and suiting. Okay. We are still looking for volunteers. We're very conscious that we don't want to flood our organisation with volunteers at the moment because yeah. we want to have the, the time for them to put in. So we're growing slowly. Crawl, walk, run is the, the motto. What we do need is volunteers in specialist areas. Okay. So we've targeted where we need people. I, the startup committee who are working with me at the moment have all been cherry-picked for their skill sets. It isn't a social club. It's a group of really, really hard-working people. Um, to, who, to whom I owe my life at the moment. Right. Um, but we do, do still have a couple of gaps um, in, in the startup, and um, we're, we're looking at kind of filling them. Uh, IT is one, if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> I think people at home who know me going, you know nothing about IT. Um, and uh, what else do we need, Nicola? We have something else in there. Um, Maybe some of the career helpers people. Yeah, uh, IT is the key thing. I yeah, think. I think so. Um, I mean, yeah, we've we've covered the bases. It's all going to be on your fabulous new website. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. We've covered a lot of bases, um, and we're really, really pleased. And as I said, it's it's it has literally transitioned from one woman to a huge team. The awkward question that I'm going to ask, slightly awkward, is not about Brendan Courtney, <laughs> lovely man. The awkward question is: Is there a male equivalent? Is there a thing for guys that they can look up and? There is. It's, uh, Dress for Success was born in 1997 in New York okay. um, from one woman's vision. Yep. Um, last year, the male equivalent opened in New York. Okay. And it's a very interesting... It's a question that we get asked a lot. Okay. Um, the reason that I have taken up the mantle of Dress for Success is because it has been proven. Yep. Um, it works. There's a protocol there, so we're working to that. Um, the, it's interesting that the male one is 14 years behind and I wonder if that has a lot to do with how men ask for help being slightly different to how women ask for help yep. um, and there's a lot of speculation as to whether the male equivalent will be run by men or women okay I so don't know that, whether I, which I'd like to be dressed by you know I've always said I'd love to do the off the rails thing yeah. but I wouldn't be brave enough it takes a lot of courage it does it takes a lot of courage um uh, but remarkably, a, a lot of people who do it um, t t completely discount the fact that, you know, half a million people are viewing yeah. um, and just go for it. And I suppose that's, if you want something bad enough, you'll do it. Did I see you tweeting that Off the Rails is back? It is, yes. Back last Wednesday for okay. a show of nine. So Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, very best of luck with that. And I hope you enjoy the website when you see it. I and no uh, thanks for talking. I have Brilliant. no doubt. Thank you so much. Thanks.